These crowds really across the state today. One analyst calling it shocking turnout on day one of early voting. Our David Goins is joining us now with a look at who is coming out to vote on this first day, David. A lot of people. Uh, this is certainly not 2010 and 2014. This is a much different uh, amount of people that we're seeing. Look, we're going to start in Tarrant County. We're going to show this to you. This is actually online on their website uh, right here. 37,673. That is a significant number because in 2014 on day one of early voting, Tarrant County had 13,000, so a major difference. And you can do all types of fun things on their website. You can even uh, track it by hour and see that this line graph shows it's been pretty steady, about 4,500 every hour. So you can check that out. Now you can certainly see that interest in the midterm based solely on how many, uh, how busy many of those polling places are on the first day of early voting. Uh, the pictures here are from Bethany Lutheran in Northeast Dallas. That's home to a very competitive race between Congressman Pete Sessions in the 32nd Congressional District and his Democratic challenger, Colin Allred. Just a steady stream all day in downtown Dallas, the George Allen Courthouse lobby has seen lines for the last 10 hours since early voting started. One voter I did speak with who works in the building says the lines he saw today rival the presidential election. I see a lot of elections in this courthouse and I've never seen that many people in the lobby to vote ever. So pretty impressive. All right, so let's look at Collin County. These are numbers we had in as of 2.30. Uh, we're still trying to work to get some more updated numbers, but you can see that uh, reflecting as well. Uh, 23,000 as of 2.30 uh, compared to 6,000 for the same type of election four years ago. And you see it was getting close. We're getting into presidential election territory with 31,000. Dallas County is seeing that as well. Numbers are, are up in Dallas County as well. They eclipsed their 2014 total in just four hours this morning. So. A lot of turnout. It'll be interesting to see if this will translate to more people uh, voting overall or just more people voting early. And of course, early voting goes through November 2nd. There will also be an early voting day on Sunday, October 28th, but the hours are a little different there. So check your local county guys. All right, David Goins for us. Thank you, David. If you are plan on early voting, planning on early voting, you can check out a few rules that you may have forgotten about. You cannot wear your campaign shirts to vote. That's considered electioneering and it's illegal in Texas. You also cannot campaign within 100 feet of the polling place, so be sure to take that button off or leave your sign behind. Again, early voting runs through November 2nd.